Mm. Oh, my Lord and my God, only you matters to me. Only you matters to me. Man does not matter to me. As long as you are there, Father, I'm okay. It is your voice that matters to me. The voice of man never matters to me. No matter what man says, Father, I hold on to your word. You told me this morning that I should wait on you. I should wait for you. You said that that I should be strengthened. You said because you are going to strengthen me. You said, wait, I say unto you, Father, I hold on to this, your word. Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I pray, Father, for everyone, oh Lord, at the sound of my voice and those that are going to... Be, uh, that will log in later, Father, we are asking, Father, Ooh. all that matters to us, it is your voice. <clears throat> we want to hear your voice. Father, even today, Baba, through the vessel that you have prepared for us, Baba, we want to hear your voice. Cause us to hear your voice. We don't want to hear the voice of a man or a woman, but we want to hear your own voice. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All right, with Jesus' joy, we call on our sister all the way from Houston, Texas, Sister Biola, who will be leading us in today's ministration. Over to you, Sister Biola. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. You are not praising me, you are praising God. That's on me, sacrifice. Really, really praise the Lord. I cannot shout yeah, much. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the Lord needs to hear our voice. And uh, we need to be excited that we are in the land of the living. You know, today happens to be uh, it will be the last Tuesday of the month for, for us in US and Canada and for Nigeria and Britain. That is the last one is this. is the Lord's mercy that we are kept alive and that we are still in our place. So I want us to open our mouths. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you. Thank him for being your sustainer. He's the one. He's the one. If it is for man, he will have taken you up. He will have forgotten you. Our Father, is the sustainer. He sustain you with corn, with grain, with all sorts, physical and spiritual. Many battles we have fought on our behalf. We, even if we see it, what can we do about it? Not much. We only be terrified. We only, you know, the remembrance of it we make oh us to God call. So even if it even make us to be like, ah, so... There are forces oh, like you that are fighting against you, and you'll be terrified. But God will not allow you to Monica, not bother you with those people. Hmm? He is our great oh, deliverer. Oh, he has been there for us. Oh, Let's bless you. Oh, Holy Spirit is oh, there, comforting you. Oh, if, if we show you the whole picture, oh, you, will, you will say, oh, I'm not oh, going to. Oh, Let me read this journey oh, here. Oh, eh? That is why some people commit suicide. Because they look at the enormity of the battle they are facing. They cannot see the bigness of their God. But for you, God will assure you over and over again that He is your God, He is your Father, and He will always release those things that will make you to get to the next stage, to get to the next level. He will not leave you without that comfort. Why not bless you? Cannot do it on your own. You cannot. I know God. Because especially when you abandon yourself to Him, He knows that you are saying absolutely. I don't have any plan B. Only you. And when you do that, we come and show Himself. As the mighty Almighty, mm -hmm. the awesome God, Monica, the only wise God. But the way you solve some problem, you'll be amazed. Hey, when you pray in this direction, Baba, do it like this, do it like this. Oh, when it comes, it's no solution. Hey, 
He will be saying, Father, I'm amazed. Oh, but oh, I'm amazed at, at, at the level at which you are pushed. <laughs> like a root, yeah, he cannot it's be confused. He confused. He said, I, I am God. Am God. To whom will you compare me? God can, can, can be this church and say in God. Because he has all the resources that are made into the God. Why not bless me? I did not plan to go this way. But I, I, I think God wants us to spend like five minutes. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him as your provider. Appreciate him as your dealer. So many things that we know. This one, that one. You can see it you If you don't eat like this, if you go this way, we be, in, 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 we're talking about, you know, something like terminal disease in your body. And I pray you will not wake up to any of them. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, if any means cannot, because we have the great physician of the world, and he has told us, Feel it in the children's bread. It is your bread. So, you have the freedom to demand for that bread. And he is so gracious. He is so merciful. He releases in abundance. You don't have to be bothered about supply. Look at Mana. He told the children of Israel, don't gather for two days. Thank you, Jesus. Daily. Daily, and the Bible says, if daily load us with benefit, you can take your portion. I can take my portion. It is only those who will not Thank open their mouth to ask to talk to the Lord, because the miracle is in your mouth. It's in your declaring what you know that God has spoken with you, and in your mind, align yourself with what He has said, so that you will be on the same page. Because that is where the problem is. We have saying one thing in prayer, but when we go on our businesses, we are declaring something else. Ha, ah, this problem, eh? this Nigeria, this country, you know, a lot of things to say to negate what we have told God in our secret place or what God has told us. And it doesn't work when it's like that. So bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, thank you Bless for being your everything. Oh, so all in all, oh my soul, it can be everything oh, and anything you want it to be for you. Oh, she you know, when, so when we come into the place of trials and temptation, Baba, when we come into the place of life, like imagine Joseph in that pit. He cannot think oh, of deliverance. But I know it will be talking to God. Oh, ah, Father, I brought food for my for my brethren. What is going on with me? Inside the pit. And it is my, my brother that put me in there. But look at God. Oh, it is not. It, it, it look at it, there is a detour. But he still made sure he was given, he was sold to people who we bring him to the place of destiny. Oh, Appreciate God. That it may look as like if you are not where you ought to be, oh, but he's still charting your path so that oh, you will be on the path oh, yeah, of destiny. Bless the name of the Lord. Worship him oh, in the good oh, 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 Our God is holy. Our you God is also is beautiful beyond our ability to even describe it. Somebody said uh, about God, he said, in Yoruba, Oloruko Akwerire. That means he is the one that has the name that when you call that name, you will see goodness. You will experience goodness. You will eat goodness. Goodness will be your companion. Goodness will be all over you. And that is what God said. The goodness and mercy shall follow you. I hope you can see them. Goodness and mercy is following you. My the companion. goodness and mercy will ah, follow Father, me. We just want to say thank you. He wants to bless thank you. Thank you, Father. He wants to say you I are good. You are kind. Thank, thank you, you for Baba. being our I bless you. 
Thank you, oh God, for being our healer. Thank you for being there for us. In this time when we look at this, how shall we do it? Thank you for the mighty deliverance. Oh, yes. bless forgive me of my Thank sins you only for being our and my iniquities and my transgressions. Speaking, speaking oh, words, Father, words. I just want to so say thank you. Help us to get to the other side. To help us to get to the other side. We worship you, our God. We oh, thank you for being our healer. Thank you, for Baba. providing for every thank of our needs. Thank you, Jesus. For watching over our children. Because they are still our children. Even if they are still even if they become tight, even if they, whatever age they are tight, they are our children. And we have the duty of being a caretaker, a steward that we give account. Oh so Lord, we want to thank you. Thank you for speaking. Thank you for being here. We are grateful. You are wonderful. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you for new living. Oh, that, Father, thank you. are declaring you. over our lives, thank you. Thank over the life of our children. Thank you. We bless, we you, bless you, Lord. We appreciate Jesus you, Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 So it's been a great day to speak over our children all over the world as watchers. Wherever you are today, once you are... Okay. I want to see... The beautiful people online. Once, uh, wherever you are around the world, as watchers, we want to pray for our children. Even if those children are yet to come, this is the day to back them. This is the day to make, to, 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 to tell the Almighty God that you are in alignment with His word. He said, nothing barren around you. Not even your animal, talk less of you. So it is a great day. Begin to speak to those children. They are on their way. They are coming. So wherever you are today, once you see, I mean, just say this prayer for our children. You can call them by name and use them as a point of contact for them. So I will be reading the word of God. And only that time will not permit us, I will have said. I will read it, we will say, but well, let me read from there. Number 6, 24, 26. May the Lord bless you. That is, we are, we are saying to our children, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. That is in number 6, 24 to 26. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Psalm 127, verse 3. He said, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. That is Proverbs 22, verse 6. May your children be like holy trees around your table. May your children be like holy trees around your table. And may your sons be like young olive plants, strong and full of life. And I remember he said in one portion of the Bible, our daughters will be like pillars in the palaces. So you know that they are covered, both sons and daughters. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Psalm 46, verse, 40, verse 1 and 2. May they be filled with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and may they walk in your truth. You can be saying amen, no? and if you can amen. repeat those words, in the time, I mean, you can, can follow my faith. Based on Psalm 119, verse 56, and Proverbs 1, 2 to 7. May they be kind, compassionate Amen. and forgiving and may they show Amen. love to others and to Amen. you especially who will carry them in the womb or who are carried them in the womb because uh, uh, Pastor Funke Felipadejimo said pray for you can pray for a male child, you can pray for female child but most importantly pray for kind children 
children that will take care of you, yes. children that will appreciate all that you have put into their lives, you know, pray for kind children. And Amen. that I pray none of our children will turn their back on us Amen. for whatever reason. The enemy will not turn them against us. Amen. We read that uh, portion about their kindness, compassionate, in Ephesians 4, verse 32, and Colossians 3, 12 to 14. They did trust in the Lord with all their hearts and Amen. never lean on their own understanding. May they acknowledge him in all their ways. Amen. So that he can lead them, so that he can put their feet on the path of destiny, on the path of fulfilling purpose. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. May they be strong, courageous, and may they not be afraid or be discouraged. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. May they know and love the Lord with all their heart, all their soul, their mind, and strength. Mark 12, verse 30, and Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Prophetically declare it over our children. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy Amen. nation, destined Amen. for greatness. Your Amen. future is bright. And your Amen. hope is secured in God's plan Amen. for your life. Jeremiah Amen. chapter 29, verse 11. You can be putting the name of your children there. You are a light in the darkness, shining Amen. God's love and truth Amen. to the world. Yes. Amen. That is found in Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16. Your dreams and desires are seeds planted by God. And they will grow into mighty trees of purpose and destiny. Psalm 37, verse 45. You are a warrior equipped with, Amen. equipped with the armor of God to overcome every obstacle and challenge. So when your children may be facing one Amen. problem or the other now, it is time for you to arrive as a mother in Israel. As a father, you know, <laughs> as the priest of the home, tell your children they are warriors. It's you. Amen. Amen. All armor of God to overcome every obstacle and challenge. Their voice matters. And their words will bring life and hope to those around them. They will influence people for good. Amen. That is found in Proverbs 18, verse 21. You are Amen. a unique and precious masterpiece. Crafted by God's loving and efficient tool by them. Your path is illuminated by God's guidance and it will direct your step into a future filled with purpose and promise in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 32, verse 8. You are a blessing to your family. Amen. You are a blessing to your community. You Amen. are a blessing to the world. And your Amen. presence makes a huge difference. Genesis 12, verse 2. God's Amen. love and grace will always be with you, guiding, protecting, and empowering you to be all he created you to be. So Amen. none of our children will be mediocre. They Amen. will not be average. They Amen. will get to the peak yes. of Amen. all the potential that God has deposited in them. They will Amen. be able to express all that God has deposited in them. And Amen. their voice will be heard in the world. They will not Amen. be known. They will, they will be heard globally. They are, their names will, will resound. They will Amen. have landmark, landmark, landmark breakthroughs Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So for the few minutes I have, let me just take us to pray in this manner. Begin to say over your children, a new season starts in your life. Say it to that great child, to that baby in your womb. You because that baby is there. Baby is coming forth. That baby is coming forth. In the name of Jesus. That baby is coming forth. A new season. A new season starts in their life. 
Begin to declare. 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 Begin to I know you have a name you are a pillar in the house of God. In the name of ah, Jesus, life, precious, you, in are a, life, you are a voice you and not a noise. You are not life, an echo in the name of life. Jesus. Name, name them, name them, name them. Name them. Name them. Name them. is a moment of destiny shaping. You can speak in that. In your word is powerful. You are moving in the life of your children. In the life of your children. Look at Father Jerry. He said he got a letter from you. Letter from Putin. Ah, and he was happy. He told the mom, ah, we have a party. <laughs> we have a party now. We have this letter. Then the mother was just looking at him. Who? You? That is not what God told me about you. You are a servant of the Lord. He said we pull out a, a, a stool in the kitchen and then sit on it. That is the stool of the king you are sitting on. So you can take those prophetic words into the life of your children. I mean, oh, tell you trouble, me, Father. tell you told me, that me that is the new season is God being blotted in your life. My seed. That we shape the next 20 years, my seed. the next 40 the years, this year is the next 50 years, the next 70 years, as long as God wants them to be alive. If you don't tell it, the new season is blotted in your life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say to your children, no more generational curses. You no will only obtain by generational blessings. Because we think Abraham's blessings are not. Abraham's blessings are for our children. They are for their own children's children. And even you, you will see their children's children. You will not their babies. Huh? And the Bible talks about four generations okay, that God will bless you. To, 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 to be, you know, you can, have, you can see some, some Facebook pictures. They'll be showing the, the, the great grandma. They'll be showing the life one grandma. Picture it. That is who you are. God will share your life. You will see those children's children. And you will see the blessing of the Lord being enjoyed in their generation, in your bloodline, in my bloodline. Declare it. No more generational curses. All those things that have been playing out in their life and you are saying, ah, ah, what is happening? God is saying, declare it today. Generational blessing is now playing out in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you will declare again, my son, my daughter, you will not make the same mistake that I made. Oh, you will not make I reject the evil patterns and cycles. They will not play out in your life. They will not play out in your destiny. No evil cycles. No evil patterns. For my children, declare it. My daughter, my son, you are marked out for favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are marked out for favor. You are marked out for all that is good for you. You will not miss it in life. You will walk worthy of the Lord. You will not make the same mistake that I made. You can exempt them from all those evils. Because mistakes are set back. They will not allow us to get to that desired destination. So, and you want your children to be early risers, early in destiny, early in fulfilling destiny. All those evil patterns that you know of, 
in your family life. Say they are not for your children. You decline them. They will not happen for your children. If it's not their first Evil start, evil pattern, I check you. You not play out in the life of my daughter. You not play out in her destiny. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. From now on, this happened earlier than their expected time. You know? Is it marriage? Begin to declare it. They begin to happen. I have had a testimony. Two weeks, one week. They, they, even the family, we say, uh, uh, what is it? You people have been planning this thing, just came on us and just, because God is saying, I will do a quick work in that of them. Declare it, declare it, declare it. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. They are already playing, playing for a single, so single okay, sister, single brothers. It is not only Sin sisters. Them. Pray you for your son. Pray for your son. This is due for marriage. Yes. Tell God about it. That God is your mercy. Father, my son in law. Let the wife oh, of my, God, my son locate him. Oh Let the wife be able to decide. This is my husband. My Rebecca, and the same thing for her daughter. Let their husband locate them. This year, God, set a date. Put a date. This June. I want, I want to, I want to tie Rafa. I want to dance. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's very, a very light thing. So you will not see the wind. You will not, you will not see the wind. But your body can be filled with water. Second King 3, 17. Yes, that is the word of God. And it happens so. Because the man of God said, it is but a light for God to do. And our God, our God is given. That is the word of God. You may not see how they are moving together, they are dating, they are this, they are that. They may not even tell you. But you declare your celebration. And you are going to celebrate with your children. And said none of them will learn their mates. That is the word of God. Tell their mates to come for them wherever they are in the world. Hmm? Come and testify every time. Online. The guy again came. He, 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 he that came all the way. He has sent money for some of the whatever, whatever they are buying. And he came. And he got married. And I pray our children will not meet the scammers. Amen. They will not be victims. They will marry life. Amen. And we too, we will have rest of mind on them. You see how I'm veering into marriage. <laughs> Even if I may not, I may not be able to cover all the prayer points I have here. But those one, those things that matter, we will address them by the grace of God and the Spirit of God will help us. The Lord Jesus, you say solely for in family. Let there be miraculous connections and marriages on this platform. Let's begin to tell God Father, with, with in the name of Jesus. Miraculous oh, Father, connections. Every it is God. Child, every we are believing child, God for their daughter, own goals. Oh, yeah, flesh. Because that is when they will enjoy that marriage. That is when we too will be Lord. at peace. There, there be you know, we will be at rest. Oh, Lord, Father. Nothing terrifying us. Wedding bells, wedding bells we just be sending prayer their way. The wedding bells Our Father, we thank you. Oh, Father. Father, we bless you. Name. You know, everything we is going on. Right? Right? You know, Lord. this one is after the interest okay, of my daughter. And he, she too, is after the interest of her husband. You know, they will be friends. Declare it. It will happen so. It is the future you can see that you will experience. Yes, begin to tell God that that is the future you can be for your children. Good marriages, they, they bear children, children that you will be proud of. Children that you will be able to say, oh, in the name of Jesus. In, 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 in your secret closet, saying, telling God, ah, Father, I'm grateful that a day, a day came that you brought my son and his, and his wife together. 
you know, and you too, you will be at peace. Your mind will be at rest. Let us pray. Father, give you every sister, every brother here, and grant every one, every of their heart desire. Yes, all of us, we are included in that one. And I pray we will not miss the day of our visitation. Pray, pray, pray. Father, oh give it Lord, every one of us. This is our children. This is us as parents. We want to enjoy serving the Lord. Yes. We want to enjoy serving the Lord. No matter what you do, tell God about your children, no matter what they do. They are dedicated to God. Yes, dedicate them as friends. You will serve the Lord. Your life is tied to the altar. Tie it now. That they will not, they will not be able to regulate out of serving God. They will not be able to regulate out of that dedication you have made. You must have done it when they were eight days old or whatever. Make a fresh commitment to the Lord now. That your children are dedicated to the Lord. They will serve the Lord. They will do it you. They are like a child to the altar. And they will not be able to regulate it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will fulfill your life assignment. There are no the more name. battles of any kind in your life. Grandchildren, Enough you of all those uh, your life you assignment. And you'll be saying, ah, this is scary. I don't want it. Thank God now. No more battles. When you fight those battles, they will be able to be free of those battles. It's determined. Pray unto the Lord now. Yes. No more statues of any kind of yard. Give them up. Give them up before the Lord. No more battles. Declare the authority of peace on their life and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say, I give your angel charge to protect you, to preserve you, and to bring all that belongs to you. Whatever their portion is in the Lord. Command those angels. You, activate those you, angels. My daughter, yeah, let them not be done. Let them be on assignment for your children. I, and on I assignment see. for you yourself. Your guidance angel. Everything that is my portion. Everything that is your portion, precious. To, your angels to, are to protect to you. That letter of appointment, that immigration paper that is being delayed, papers, that looks as if when we see get it, when will it get it? That visa for Mojola for Irish. For even for talking itself. Our God is able. Declare it. Declare it. Your angel will be activated. They begin to move. The heart of men, your helper, to join for you what belongs to you. They give to you in the right season, at the right time. No more delay. In Jesus' name we pray. We need to round up now. Say to the Lord, Lord, restore my spirit man. Fire my spirit man. Hmm. You know, Fire they used to pray one prayer man. for Pastor Jerry. He said, the oil on your head is never on dry. Because the Lord has, he is pouring that oil on all of us. But we need to activate it. Individually, it is the same spirit of God that is operating in Papa Jeboye's life, it's operating in my life. But it is, depends on the level of my submission that we make the Spirit of God to express Himself through me, through you. So pray for Him. Read well. Pour that oil again into my spirit man. Fire my spirit man. Let us oh, pray the Lord, same prayer for your children. Fire my spirit man. My Father, Read my spirit. Well, oh Lord, my fire spirit my man. Spirit. Father. 
with the oil All of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Precious, I reform you life. with upon the my of head. your almighty God. Legend. Begin to flow from my spirit, head. man, be refired. So all in the name of, Jesus. of my being, let them soak me. Spirit, man, be refired. Ah, Lord, as you told Ezekiel, you are putting in, in, in the in the well the of the spirit. Until the was submerged, I pray overwhelm us with your power, with your anointing, with your fire, with your oil, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We just want to say thank you, Lord, for all that you have spoken in your ears, because according to Numbers 428, he said, yeah, I will do, except those who did not Open your mouth to pray. If you have opened your mouth to pray, God said He will do exactly what you have said to His hearing. Let's begin to thank God for Father, His word. Thank you. Thank for you. all the affirmation, for all the declaration we have made on our children and on our own very lives. Our God is blessed. Glorious God, we bless you. Wonderful Lord, we say thank you. Thank you because you gave us these children and we are caretakers and we are giving them back to you, saying that we cannot do the task of overseeing them. Even when they are right in our presence, there is so, so little we can do. But we hand them over to you. We ask that, Lord, you will permit their spirit man, you will take over their mind, they will do everything according to your will. And your name alone will be glorified in and through their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I am done. Sorry Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you a million times. This is very powerful. Devoting a whole section, praying for, mm -hmm. interceding for our children. Mm -hmm. Brethren, if we don't pray for our children, mm -hmm. then God will not do anything. Mm -hmm. He said, of all this will I be required of. God has given a promise. Mm -hmm. He said, but all this that he has promised us, he mm -hmm. said, when we now bring them to him in prayers, he said he will do. So this is a great opportunity for us to spend some time to pray, to intercede for our children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, more anointing upon your life for blessing us with this powerful ministration from the Almighty God. I pray God to refill you back with the oil of anointing to excel in your area of calling in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to round up now. Uh, None of our children will be stranded in life. Amen. I command in the name of Jesus. I command all our children. As you are here, you are representing your children. Even yeah. if that child has not been born, but one day you are going to you are going to give birth. You are going to yeah, give yeah. back to your own children. Yeah. Because somebody gave back to you. You too, you will give yeah. back to your children. And the best time to pray, it is now. Now, not when the children have been born. And for us, our children are still young. Brethren, this is the best time for us to pray. Yeah. Hey, mulate Even us that are already having grown-up children, it is not yet late. I remember the Lord told me, I was telling God, I said, Ebenezer, Either do you have helped me concerning pressure, and God said, You have not finished your assignment yet. And the Lord was asking me, As precious settled down, as precious as she married, that was when my understanding opened. So, brethren, if I can still be telling my over 80 years old mother to be praying for me, then you know that even me too, I now have that understanding that. My assignment over, over pressure is not yet completed. 
And so, brethren, I want you to also, I pray in the name of Jesus that your daughter, your son will not be stranded in life. Amen. Amen. I command, as I'm hearing it in my spirit right now, your son, your daughter will not excel in, on a wrong course of life. In the name of Jesus, because your daughter excelling in on, on a wrong course is still out of order. Yemwa paye bute na papaye bula kata. There are those that are prospering in the in the wrong way. There are those that are prospering that are excelling on a wrong course. But before God, they are out of the point. They are out of the way. I command in the name of Jesus, should any of our daughter or son on a wrong course of life and they are excelling on a wrong course, Father, return them back, Lord, to where you want them to be. Father, return them back. Let there be a reverse, Lord. Let there be a reverse, Lord. A divine reverse, Lord. Bring them, Lord, to what you knew them for in life. In the name of Jesus, you can get to la papa ya de to dua musata. Because you said in your word, before I formed you, I knew you. Before thou came out of your mother's womb, I have already set you aside. Therefore, you kaka te le kute rano masodwa. Father, everyone at the sound of my voice, Lord, Baba, oh my father, he be here representing father, either at the, uh, their children, their sons uh, 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 and daughters or sons or daughters, in the name of Jesus, I decree one more time that your career, that your son, that your daughter <coughs> will not be out of alignment to that which God the Almighty, Yahweh himself, knew him for, knew her for, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, in heaven, None of us shall weep over our son. Amen. None of us shall weep over our daughter. Amen. When we look at the picture of our son or our, our daughter, Amen. we will not shed tears of sorrow. Amen. If at all there is need for us to shed tears, it will be tears of joy. We will say, come and see what the Lord has done for my son. Amen. Come and see what the Lord has done for my daughter. Amen. This will be our testimony. Amen. Every evil river that attempts to flow into the life of our daughter, to the life of our, of our son, to bring us into sorrow, 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 I command those evil rivers, dry up by fire. Amen. I command it, dry up by fire. In Amen. the name of Jesus, Amen. those evil rivers, we refuse, we forbid them from flowing into the life of our daughter. The evil river that flowed into our life, that brought us setback, that brought us pain, that brought us uh, uh, sorrow, that brought us distress, that brought us frustration. Father, I decree now, Baba, that any attack from the pit of hell, any attempt from the kingdom of darkness, uh, cooking up father, trying to re re resuscitate him, those evil rivers to flow into the life of our children. Right now, we said no in the name of Jesus. We Amen. said no in the name of Jesus. We Amen. said no in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father in heaven, Oh, my Lord and my God, we are asking, Father, that even we ourselves, Father, help us, oh Lord, Father, help us. We are, yes, because of the wrong choices that we have made in life, Father. Look mm. at the pain that most of us are going through, Father. Look at the sad parts we have gone going to father lord that we are going father in heaven we are asking oh my lord and my god help us father baba lord looking at our children they seem to know mother not but they don't know mother not. but rather lord we are asking father baba that you will have mercy on us father baba to continue lord but god father to be praying and interceding for them, Father, until Amen. Christ is formed in them, until Amen. destiny is 
in them until mm. they find them. Uh, help us. Like what the apostle said, that 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 you are my sons of whom I travel until Christ is forming you. Yes. Father, I pray and I'm asking, Lord, that you will equally help us. The same grace mm. that you give us gave to Paul, Father, to pray, to pray as his spiritual children into, into, into in conformity with Jesus. I pray, Baba, mm -hmm. that you equally help each and every one of us, Father, that our own biological children, Father, Ela, Papaya, even those children that are kept, uh, that are put in uh, under our care, Father, especially those that, that are teachers in our midst. Lord, I pray that, Lord, Baba, that that same grace, Father, you will pour that oil of grace upon us, Father, to intercede, Father, mm -hmm. for these children that you have put into our custody, Father, in them, mm -hmm. that will pray them into their destiny, Lord, Baba, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. And Lord, Lord God Almighty, I pray, Father, that every one of us we will surely enjoy, we surely have best reap the fruit of our labor that we have labored over our children. We will not labor mm -hmm. on them and another man or another woman will come and eat the fruit. We are going to be mm -hmm. the first partaker eating the fruits of Father of our labor that we have mm -hmm. labored over them in the name of Jesus. Meaning that Father mm -hmm. none of us will die before our time. None of us will die before our time. Therefore, any Amen. spirit of death who who read over any one of us right now, and those that are coming to listen to this ministration via our, our YouTube channel, Father, in the name of Jesus, we banish that spirit of untimely death out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even the trap of untimely death that, that is being set, set for anyone, that coffin Amen. that I'm saying, I break it now in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Because it is written that he that digeth a pit shall fall therein. Whoever has done that pit right now, now, Father, if somebody has to go, they themselves that constructed that coffin, they are the ones that we push into those coffins and we Amen. nail them to those coffins in the name of Jesus. But for us, Amen. we shall live and declare the work of the Almighty God. Amen. We shall live to declare the glory of God. Amen. We shall live Amen. to carry Amen. the evidence of God, evidence of Yahweh in the name Amen. of Jesus. As we wait on Amen. you, Father, as we are waiting on you, waiting for you, Father, we know no one that waited on the Almighty God to be put to shame. Amen. In the name of Jesus, none of us on this platform shall be put to shame. Amen. 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 Father, we say thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, we say thank you. Amen. Our children will not put us to shame. Amen. Our children will not put us to shame. Our Amen. children will not cause. So oh my God. Oh, you must say tena pari amusanto. Eli katala prani musanta. I say I speak it again one more time. I say our children will not bring us to shame in the Amen. name of Jesus. I think we need to continue this prayer point next week. Next week on our children. Oh, param. Look at now. I'm over sixty. Look at our younger, our younger generation. See what the devil is doing. I watched a particular video. A particular video of a young boy who went into ritual, money ritual. Mm -hmm. He had money, he had five cars, and look at I sent the video to uh Pastor Oshua and mm -hmm. when oh my god, when the day of reckoning mm -hmm. came, come and see this young boy began to bark like a dog until he slumped and he died. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at a young, I'm sure she, she, she should be in his 20s, having mm -hmm. five cars here in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not get hold of our children. The devil will not get hold of our children. Society will not mold our children to evil. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thanks By the grace of God, God helping us, we are going to continue this prayer for our children next week. Oh, I'm charged. We are going to pray, for, we are going to pray them into their destiny. If we missed, if we are missing it because of the wrong choices that we have made in life, and because of that, see how we are struggling. This is our younger mm -hmm. generation. We must not allow them to go through what we went through. A war, God yes. forbid, it will not happen. Mm -hmm. And that will only happen when we are able to take the bull by the horn and we pray them, pray them, pray them, pray them, pray them. And I'm telling you, the devil will not want us to do it, but we are going to do it. No matter, mm. even when in our pain, we are going to do it and we shall achieve it. And right mm. before us, we shall, we shall see our children excelling 
and that is what will give us joy. Honestly, yeah. my joy is that same pressures excelling in life. Mm -hmm. if, I'm able, if I'm able to achieve that, I can say, Lord Jesus, now here am I. Job well done. And I'm, that would be what you are going to receive on that day Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Father, thank we say thank you. Lord, thank we you, say Lord. thank you. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, by the grace of God, let us log in in good time next week. By the grace of God, we are continuing with praying for our children. We are continuing. In fact, we are even starting the month of June praying for our children. It is the sixth month. God will visit our children in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Your children, that sickness in the life of your children, that particular ailment that the enemy put it on that, on that your child, on that your son or daughter, so that it will hinder that your son or daughter from, from becoming what God has destined him for. A war. We are going to remove it through prayer. We are going to remove it through prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, we say thank you. There's nothing like retardation. Yes, sir. Our children will progress Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you all for logging in. Yes. To log in. You can see that we don't have time to waste one hour worship prayer. Worship word in prayer. And I'm believing God that God will help us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All right. God bless you. we we'll meet again next week. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.